Hey, what's up? It's Tackless, and today we're going to be looking at how to assign a loadout, how to change stats like health and ammo capacity and shield and all that fun stuff, um, and how to increase your stats, such as speed, health, whatever, on the fly mid-game. So I'm just going to show you a quick example of that. Obviously, I'm holding the super shotgun and the combat shotgun, which charges up shots and does all that fun stuff. I've got a grenade. Um, we got this terminal here, and each time I interact with this terminal, it's going to slightly increase my speed. So I'm just going to interact with it a couple of times. Just so we get kind of the, the nice effect of it. There we go. And now we're moving way faster. This has been something that a ton of people have requested. And while this is pretty easy, it's definitely kind of obscure and hidden out of the way. So uh, once, you, once you understand this, hopefully you'll start exploring the code and logic a little bit more. Um, and you'll get to figure out all kinds of other fun stuff. Uh, first off, before I get into this too much, thank you everyone for all the support that I've gotten on my previous Doom videos. It's just been an overwhelming amount of positivity and helpfulness and people jumping in and ask, answering other people's questions, even on topics that I'm not completely certain about. Um, so thank you everyone for the support. Thank you for helping each other out. This is definitely, um, definitely a very positive thing to start with. So anyways, let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and delete our player. First, let's add our player. So I add the player start. Here's our guy. Wonderful guy. Basic stuff. Let's say that we want to give him a loadout. Now, I have gone over how to give a basic loadout before in another video, but in case you haven't seen that, here's how we do it. We place down this player loadout, we press Y or whatever it is on your system, and we can pick our weapon 1. We'll go ahead and give chain gun, because chain guns are cool. Our weapon 2, we'll give the lightning gun, because it's also cool. The equipment, we have a bunch of different options. Ammo dispenser, demon control grenade, grenade, health dispenser, shield wall, siphon grenade, Tesla rocket. All these are super cool and you should totally play with them. We can also change if you want double jump or if you want ledge grab. Usually I'd say keep those on, but hey, if you have a specific situation, it's good to be able to turn them off. We'll go ahead and apply that. And now if you want this to just be part of this player at all times, we can select it, give loadout to our player on spawn. So this player will then have this loadout all the time. But let's say that we wanted to have a different loadout that they could interact with and get. So I'm going to copy this and we're going to switch out the guns. So chain guns cool and all. Let's go to the, um, let's see, gauss cannon and heavy assault rifle and a different grenade. There we go. And then let's put down an interactable. So when this thing is interacted with, it will give this loadout. Okay? So that's how we can switch loadouts on the fly in the game. Now let's say that you want your player to start with some turned up or turned down stats, whatever you want. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hover over our player, interact with them, and on spawn, we're going to go over to players, and pick the player proxy, place it down, and we have a bunch of options here, which you should totally go over and experiment. These are all wonderful options. But we're going to go to set modifier. On set modifier, this little node here, we'll hit Y, and this is where we can modify our stuff. We've got damage, armor, health, speed, ammo capacity, equipment, cooldown. These are all super duper helpful. Um, let's first focus on health. And let's set this to 500%. I happen to know on health, it will automatically fill the player up to 500% health. Stuff like ammo capacity, it will start them with the normal amount of ammo, and then they'll just have an empty capacity. Uh, we want to add a second thing like speed. Speed's always good. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the wrong thing there. Proxy. There we go. We'll go to set modifier. And then we'll change this guy to speed. Now, you can only set speed to 300%, which is eh, unfortunate, but I understand it. Once you, get, uh, once you start going too fast, you can start breaking physics engines and stuff like that. So 300% is super fast. So, um, yeah, that's how you can change the health and the proxy and the loadout and all that fun stuff. 
Let's say that you wanted to be able to adjust your speed on the fly in the game. Let's say it's a reward, something that you can purchase, whatever. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this panel. And in case you're wondering how I'm doing this, I hover over an object, double click right trigger, and then delete. You can also duplicate it, usually. Uh, but then let's hop back in, go to interactables, put a panel down really quick. We're going to make the panel reusable. Then on used, we're going to go to variables. And we're going to create a number variable. Already created a couple of these. We're going to make a new one. And we're going to add. And we're going to reference this number. And we're going to just give the variable a name. So um, speed stat. It's good to pick an icon to keep everything nice and unique. And the initial value is going to be 1. There we go. And then for this add, um, Speed is kind of odd and finicky in a way. You have to really turn down how much you gain, or else you just max out your speed in one attempt. So I'm going to put this to like 25%, or 0.25, I mean. So that's that's changing the um, speed stat. Now we have to also make sure that this gets applied to our player. So then we'll go back to unused, hit A, we'll go over to the player proxy. Put it down, we'll put set modifier. And for this set modifier, select speed, but rather than putting just a numeric variable, we're gonna press left trigger or whatever it is on your system, and then we're gonna swap with our variable, our speed stat. There we go. Now, just so that we don't start with maxed out um, speed. Let's see, I think this one's speed. Yep, that's speed. We're gonna go ahead and delete this so that our player starts at boring old normal 100% speed. Let's give this a try. Okay, so we're here. Got our lightning gun and our chain gun. Then let's interact with this guy. Now we have a heavy assault rifle and a Gauss cannon and a different grenade. So that's so you can quickly change loadouts. Um, as you can see, we're moving, moving pretty normally, jumping pretty normally. Then let's interact with this. And right away, we are moving faster. We're not at top speed yet, but interact with it a couple more times. We start getting there. You can really tell the speed if you listen for the footsteps and if you watch how quickly the gun shakes. But that's how you can change the speed on the fly. Uh, really quick, because I know some people will ask this, how to get that as a reward for killing an enemy? It's very simple. It's pretty much the same code that we just did, um, except rather than having something that you interact with, um, let's grab a demon, put down this guy, because he's nice and squishy, on killed. We're going to set modifier, and and number. So it does effectively the same thing, except he only gets to do it once because he you know, dies. Let's go ahead and give that a shot just to make sure that it works. Okay, so we're moving pretty slow. Kill him. Eh, it's not particularly noticeable, but I'm pretty sure we're moving faster now. So that's the general gist of things. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave something down below. Um, this whole idea is pretty applicable to enemies as well. Um, you do the same thing with the enemy proxy or the AI proxy rather than the player proxy. Um, but if you guys have any other questions, um, I know that several topics can be requested a lot. And I do plan to look into uh, variables further, especially Boolean variables and comparing variables and random and stuff like that, because that's where the depth of any good game creator comes in is in its variables. But uh, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this answers some questions. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys later.